everybody. Welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It is really cold outside right now in Florida, which is pretty crazy. I guess there's like some crazy Arctic storm going on in the United States. So it is the perfect Husky weather and they're literally loving the heck out of it. Now for me, I'm wearing a hoodie because it's just like, it's way too cold, especially for a Florida native. But that's okay because I'm willing to trade a few days of sunshine for a few few days of cold shine, if you know what I mean. Especially if it means that my Siberian Huskies are having a good time. Oh my God! Now when it gets cold, Huskies get a lot of energy. It's like it just, the energy just ramps right up. And if you're curious about what the temperature is, it's about four degrees Celsius or about uh, 37, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can see right here, I have this humongous pile of bushes and it's right next to this clearing. I've been clearing out this huge section of woods because I'm planning on clearing all of this overgrowth out eventually and just making the yard much, much bigger. This has been a huge project because clearing out overgrowth is not an easy thing to do. This is like the fourth pile that I've made just clearing out this section right here. Britney Spears is back here. He's enjoying this section now. We can actually walk around back here and you can see all the different branches that I had to cut off of these trees. It's like, it was insane. Anyways, yeah, I plan on clearing this all out. I'm gonna put some lanterns here, a bench. It's gonna be cute and make it look all Harry Potter and whatnot. And it'll also be much safer for the Huskies to walk around in because right now there's snakes and all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, just taking the time to clear it. <laughs> Hila's got a stick. This is what I'm talking about with the weather and changing a Husky. She's just like, I'm running with a stick. You bring that stick over. <laughs> You're insane. You're a mad lad. You're a mad lad. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons when it comes to owning Siberian Huskies. If you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky or you just got one, this video is gonna tell you all the things that you can expect that are good and bad when it comes to the dog breed. Maybe you wanna know a little bit more about Huskies. Like, what are some of the things that you can look forward to that are awesome? And what are some of the things that might bug you or annoy you that you may not be able to handle if you get into the dog breed? We're gonna cover every single little thing from being a puppy to being an adult size Husky. So when you decide to pull the trigger and get yourself a Huskaroni pizza, you'll know exactly what you're getting into and exactly what to expect. So call this your comprehensive guide to the pros and cons of the Siberian Husky. Are you guys ready to get into the episode or what? Come on, let's go. Siberian Huskies are floofy, lovable dogs that a lot of people like to get into just because of their wonderful demeanor, their great personalities, and their adaptability to most environments. They're incredibly friendly to people, and they do well with most medium to large size dogs. They can even do well with smaller dogs as well. The hardest part about Siberian Huskies is the puppy stage. Raising Siberian Huskies from the puppy stage can be a very hard task to do. They require a lot of attention and a lot of training in the early years. So if you're someone who works or has a very hectic schedule, a Siberian Husky puppy may be a huge detriment to your lifestyle. It may be something that you have a hard time getting used to, or it may be something that you are unable to adapt to. That's con number one. With that said, Siberian Huskies are incredibly easy to train. They can typically pick up any trick after only a few tries and can master the trick almost always after a week or two of training. So if you have a lot of patience and you have a lot of time, you can train your Husky to do almost anything you want, especially early on. That's pro number one. Now, since we're on the topic of training, let's go ahead and talk about one of the hardest training processes for a Siberian Husky, and that's potty training. They have a very hard time learning how to be potty trained in comparison to most other dog breeds. I encourage everyone to never use pee pads because it only promotes teaching your dog how to use the bathroom inside your house. So try to avoid pee pads as much as possible. You just gotta be diligent with it. Sometimes you gotta wait for your Husky to go outside and use the bathroom and Sometimes that takes 20 minutes. Once your Husky goes poop or pee outdoors, you gotta reward that activity to the max. You gotta be like, woohoo, 
woo, and freak out and go crazy. If you don't do that, your husky's not gonna know that they're doing something good. So that's con number two. Now, as we're hanging out outside, you see we've gone around the property a bunch. We're going through the woods. We're kind of just having a good time. The weather is beautiful today, as I've mentioned. And with this said, Siberian Huskies have some of the best personalities of all the dog breeds. I mean, their personalities are one of a kind. They're fun, they're engaging, they are aloof. So it, it, sometimes they just don't listen to you. Just like this kind of behavior right, right here that I'm talking about. Just, they have incredible personalities and they're just, they're so fun to just hang out with and be friends with. This is probably the best pro and it's pro number two. You're always guaranteed an amazing time with your Huskies and people love Huskies so much. You're gonna make like a ton of friends if you ever go on a walk with your dog. There's so many people that come up to you and are like, is that a Husky dog, can I pet it, man? Hey guys, come up here and check out what I got. Check out what I got. What is this right here? What's this right here, dude? What are these? Looks like some super chewer double deluxe boxes. Let's check them out, bro. Before we get into any more pros and cons, this episode's sponsor is Bark and their Super Chewer subscription boxes. Super Chewer boxes are the subscription box for dog lovers. They come every month straight to your door with a different theme with a whole bunch of goodies for you and your dogs to get into. Every single month, my Siberian Huskies are just tickled to get their Bark Super Chewer box. And this month, we got a double deluxe. You want to check out, you want to check out what's in Inside? You want to see what's inside your Super Chewer Double Deluxe box? You do? How badly? Bad, huh? All right, let's do it then. Are you ready, Mama? You want to look in your Super Chewer? Yeah? All right, let's do it. This month's Super Chewer theme is Halloween Party. Whoa, dude, look at this. Hila, let's see what's inside your Super Chewer. George, right here. Look, a crazy skull ball. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. What is this thing? <laughs> he looks like, okay, I'm getting that. Oh, Britney Spears, look. It's a, f okay, you guys, you got a couple toys already? This one came with so much stuff. <laughs> Britney Spears knows how to uh, open all the packaging at this point. He's like, I'm a, I'm a super chewer pro, dude. This month, Bark sent both of my Huskies a super chewer double deluxe, which means that inside every single double deluxe box, you get double the toys and double the treats. That's an insane amount of toys and goodies. I mean, we're talking four, five toys in this box and just loaded with all sorts of stuff. He was like, dude, I'm so overwhelmed. I don't, I don't even know what to do right now. Right now. I mean, look at all this stuff that's going on. It's freaking me out. As I stated before, this month's theme is Halloween Party, and it comes with a whole bunch of different stuff themed for Halloween. I love the inserts in these Super Chewer boxes because they always come with so much information about the toys, how they're used, the different ways you can play with them. So these are fun and informative to have. I just love the innovation and the artwork that goes into these inserts every month. This month's Super Chewer made my Husky's Halloween extra special. And if you you want to get in on the spookiness and the awesome Halloween party, all you gotta do is smash that link down in our description below, sign up for Super Chewer, get your best friend the coolest subscription box ever, and you'll get a free double deluxe box with your order. That's right, you're gonna get double the goodies, double the toys, and double the treats. We think of that, bro. Oh. I know, coolest offer ever. So don't waste any more time. Go down in that description, check out the link, and get your order of Bark's Super Chewer boxes today. Cash in on that double deluxe offer and get a plethora of toys so that you can have a crazy Halloween party, right? <laughs> All right, let's do it, dude. We want to thank Bark for sending us out these boxes this month, and we can't wait to get spookified. The next one is that Siberian Huskies have high prey drives. It's something you have to be very conscious of. Indoor Siberian Huskies may act completely normal. And if you don't take your Huskies out to like dog parks or off leash often, you may never even notice this. But when Siberian Huskies are off leash and they're doing their thing, their prey drive is dialed up to like a nine or a 10. If you have little dogs or little pets or just there's other little things on your property or near your home, your dog 
dog may go after it. So just keep that in mind. Huskies do have high prey drives and there's some weird stuff going on in their coconut where they just wanna like destroy little floofy things. That is con number three, I think. I may have lost count at this point. I can never remember, but you guys are keeping count. So you let me know if I'm right or wrong. Now these next two are kind of weird because they're coupled together in a way. It's a pro and a con. So it's, it's strange, but I'm gonna explain right now. And the pro is that Siberian Huskies have extremely, extremely clean fur. Their fur is always very, very, very clean. They have great hygiene, so they just take care of their coat. And since it's double coated, it's just, it doesn't get gross or nasty. They're really clean. They smell good all of the time. But with that said, we're gonna move on to the next con, which is that Siberian Huskies shed their fur all the time. And look, it's just like on my jacket as I'm just like recording this video. Their fur is always falling off. Now they blow their coat two times a year, but they're always shedding. Now this next one may be a pro or it may be a con. It's depending on what kind of person you are, but Siberian Huskies are up early. They're up very early, which means you are going to be up very, very early. They'll come and wake you up and be like, yo, it's six in the morning. It's seven in the morning. Time to get your booty up. Sometimes five o'clock, depending on what type of husky you got. They want to wake up at the crack of dawn and do their thing. The colder it is, the earlier they want to wake up. They're like, why are there why are there human skeleton skulls outside, Dad? What's, what, what's going on? Excuse me, this isn't salad time. What, what, no, this isn't salad time. All right, let's get into one final pro and con when it comes to Siberian Huskies. One con is that Huskies take up a lot of time, like a lot of your time. They're very social animals. Hence why I have two Siberian Huskies, because one Siberian Husky will want 99.9% .9 of all of your attention. So if you don't have another Husky or another animal to be friends with your Husky, you're gonna be working a lot to entertain your dogaroni pizza, if you know what I mean. This can be a big con because you, you know, you're a human being. You want to do things like go on vacation or, you know, so it's good to remember that if you do get a Siberian Husky, they're not like other dogs that you can just be like, all right, uh, see you later. Maybe next month. They are very emotionally moved when you aren't around and it affects their life a lot. I can, I can just tell they're very connected to their owners. They, they, they create a deep connection with their owner. So just keep that in mind. Could be a con if you like to go and live your life a lot and you're not really a homebody or you don't, you know, spend like spending a lot of time with animals. Another con is that Siberian Huskies can be loud. Like they can be really loud. If you get a, a Husky that howls or barks and you live in an apartment complex, your neighbors are probably gonna be really upset with you. They're not gonna be happy because your dog may be doing a bunch of a wooing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, just like that, bruv. And last but not least, the last pro. I think this may be like pro number five or six. I'm not really sure. Like I said, lost my count. But Siberian Huskies just enrich your life. They really do. If you weren't an active person before, you will be an active person now. If you weren't a social person before, you will be a social person now. If you didn't love animals before, you're gonna love <laughs> animals. I know, you're gonna love them now. <laughs> Siberian Huskies change your life. And for the better, like, to the max, they really make you a better person in every single way. And that's the best pro about the breed. They just make you a better person. They really do. They make you get up off your butt every morning. They make you take them outside, experience nature. It's one of the best parts about owning the breed. And I encourage you, if you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky, you should do it. They're the best. You shouldn't just get one either. You should get two or three or four or five. So we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We had a blast. Those are the pros and cons of owning a Siberian Flufferoni pizza. And if you guys have any questions or if you want to add anything, go ahead and do so in the comments down below. Be sure to check out Bark Super Chewer boxes. They are the best subscription box that you can get for your Huskaroni pizza. If you want to do something awesome for your best friend, they come with so many toys. Think about it. If you go to the pet store like PetSmart or Pet Supermarket, and you buy a toy, it's gonna be like 20, 30, 40 dollars for one toy. Every month you could be getting multiple toys and multiple treats for a fraction of the cost. So give it a try. Check it out in the description below and you're gonna get some free toys and free treats, like we said, with the double deluxe box. So until next time, guys, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What, dude? That's right, whatever we make. Peace! Gooba da ba 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 do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do. Thank you.